Have you ever had an instance that everyone inside your house is hooked on the internet? Like for kids, they might be sleeping late because they are watching streaming videos or playing online games in the middle of the night. Yes, you can actually tell them to stop and sleep early, but most probably they will wait for you to sleep and get back online. So you can actually just block their internet access like on this other video. But that feature is actually intended for special cases. And of course, it will be very tedious for you to block individual devices manually every night or even during weekdays. So there is a parental control feature on Asus Wi-Fi router to do it automatically for you. This is the time scheduling. And today we will show you on how Asus parental control time scheduling works and how to set it up. For this test, we will showcase the Asus Zen Wi-Fi Mini, but it should work the same with the other Asus Wi-Fi router that has parental controls. Okay guys, right now we're on the Zen Wi-Fi AX Mini Web Management Console and we're going to the Parental Controls menu. Okay, after clicking that one, you'll be redirected to the Parental Control Time Scheduling. And right now, Enable Time Scheduling is currently turned off. We're going to turn it on by just clicking this one and it will automatically turn on. And the device that we're going to test or add a time scheduling will be my mobile phone or the P30 Pro. And this is actually my mobile phone, the P30 Pro, and currently it is screen mirrored on this workstation or computer. So let us try to check if it has internet connection right now. Click on speed test and converge ICT for our test server. So hit go. Okay, and I think it is working. We are able to access the internet just to make sure we are connected to the Asus Zen Mini 5G and our mobile data is currently turned off. So meaning we are able to access the internet connected to that Wi-Fi router, the Zen Mini Wi-Fi router. And we're going to have it time scheduled. So right now we're going to just choose time and not block or disable. So let's click the device that we want to have a time scheduling for our example. It will be the P30 Pro and it will show you the MAC address. And after that one, click add. Okay, then after click add, you'll be able to see here the device that will be applied at time scheduling. So we, you, know, you need to click the pencil icon to set the time and day on which device you want to access or not access the internet. So right now, weekdays, let's enable this one and let's try to choose a different time just to make sure it is working. So right now, it is 10.42 a.m. And we're going to block its internet connection right now. So the start time, it's uh, maybe, let's just say 10 a.m. in the morning, internet connection will be cut off from this device. And we're going to give him back his internet connection in 6 in the evening. This is actually in military time. And as you can see here, if you want to disable its internet access on this day, you can do that one. But if you want to uh, have a different scheduling, like for example, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, he should not have any... Uh, time scheduling he should be able to access the internet all the day that's okay but right now this is today is tuesday and we're going to block its internet connectivity during this time so hit finish okay then after that one you'll be able to see it here monday tuesday wednesday a time scheduling for this one you can actually add more if you want depending on the scheduling that you want to perform on those devices so let's hit apply Applying 40, 60, 80, and 100. And it is actually complete. So it should take effect. This device should not have internet access right now because it's already 10.43 a.m. So let's try to open that device again, this screen mirror device. So let's try to hit go for the speed test. Okay, as you can see, it didn't give us any internet connection or it didn't push through with the speed test so how about this one click on this and maybe let's try to open an application maybe youtube let's try to see if it will load anything in here as you can see youtube is not actually loading any uh, video or suggested videos right now because the internet connectivity is actually disabled for this one and let's try it again for the speed test and just make sure it is actually not working Okay, still error, test failed to complete. Please check your connection and try again. 
So how about let's try to see if it is still connected to that one Asus Zen Mini 5G and the mobile data is actually turned off. So right now, we don't have any internet access for this device. And for a couple of seconds more or a minute, it will show you that the Wi-Fi is actually not working. So as you can see here, you need to sign in to make sure that you will be able to access the internet. And right now, sign in to Wi-Fi network to edit that configuration so you will be able to have your internet connection back. And that's it for the time scheduling. If you want, you can add more. And if you want to remove this from time scheduling, you just need to click the minus icon in here and you should have no time scheduling at all. And there you have it guys, that is actually easy to configure. You can actually do this to other devices, not just for your kids, maybe for your significant others because they are actually having less sleep at night because they are playing online games or doing something over the internet. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have comments and suggestions, comment down below or message me at JK Chavez on FB. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and bye.